that people would really study and work on. Since the advent of computers, that art is less talked about. And people just use computers that will draw the bar charts and, you know, fine. Okay. But this art is kind of becoming a lost art. You know, that's what computers do. Okay. Um, traditionally, you may have between three, four, five, or six tick marks, whatever is convenient. Well, if the largest value is 10, you've got threes, fives, fours, and twos, I may be tempted to draw four marks, one, two, three, four, and maybe say this is three, six, nine, and 12. Okay, just to describe the height of each rectangle here. Okay, you guys okay with that? Now, what is the frequency of the first bin? It's a three. Now, here's the deal. I'm not going to use bin limits. Because if I use bin limits, this is three for the first bin, five for the second bin, somewhere up here. What starts to happen is if you only read, you read 0, 5, and 6, you might conclude that's 56. These numbers are too close together. Just like these numbers are too close together, 11 and 12, you might say that's 1,112. So in order to fix this sort of potential confusion, bin limits are not used when you draw histograms. Instead, we're going to use what? The boundary values. You guys okay with that? The first bin is inside these boundary values, so we should be okay. The second bin is inside these boundary values, we should be okay. Likewise, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So this is why we needed those end, end boundaries as well, so that we can draw our histogram. So, okay, here we go. You guys ready? We're going to do this using boundary values. This is our first rectangle. And what I like to do when I do this, personally, I label on the roof a 3, which just communicates to the reader that, guess what, the frequency here is really 3, because we're sketching this. And you know, not all of us are really good sketchers. Is that right? Who's a, who's, a, who's, who's a really bad artist here? So, like myself, <laughs> I put the three. Okay, you guys okay with that? What's the next frequency here? It's five. We're going to use boundary values here. Would a five be somewhere right here? You guys say five? Or does that look like a six? Is that too close to six? Five would be three four, five, so it's maybe a little bit too high. All right, let's fix it. And just to be clear to people, I'm trying to say, hey, guess what? The frequency there is five for that second pin. OK, you guys OK with this? Is that easy or hard? Oh, maybe we shouldn't ask that. Is that easy? If you practice it, what if you go home tonight, and what are you going to do? You guys say that, but what happens? You go home tonight and maybe you start doing what? I don't know. Who knows what? What do you do? <laughs> Clean? No? Good. You guys study. That's what you, if you're students, what should you do? Study. That's what you do. So you study. So if you go home tonight and you practice these, you go through the routine, you know, the stuff that I have on the internet, your book, and all that practice, then you're going to be prepared. If you don't do it, what's going to happen? You're going to show up game day ill-prepared. Anybody play organized sports before? Am I the only one? OK. Did you ever hate when some of those other kids wouldn't what? Practice? They wouldn't practice. And then they'd show up. How? We always put them where in right field, right? They were always going in right field because nobody hit the ball to right field. So you guys don't want to show up game day, what? 
Because <laughs> we'll have to put you in right field. Where's right field? Oh, fantastic. So you show up game day and what? You guys will be prepared. Okay? But you have to go through all that to be prepared. All right, what's the next frequency? 10. We're going to use these boundary values. 10 would be just above the 9. Is that right? You guys okay with that? Is that just above 9? Hopefully. Is that right? Is that just above 9? Maybe. That's 10. What's the next um, frequency? 4. Ah, 4 is between 3 and 5, right? 4. And then finally, the last frequency? What's the last frequency? So that's just below 3. That almost looks like it's a 2 already. Here's a 2. <coughs> okay. So what I have here is a histogram where the horizontal axis represents distance. The vertical axis represents the frequency. So this is a picture of our data. Okay? Called a histogram. It's a picture of data. Okay? Now I want to note a few things here. Here's a few things we can note. The first note is sometimes people use, I don't think Triola does, but we may see in the book uh, at, on occasion, sometimes people use not boundary values to construct histograms. Sometimes people use um, midpoints. In other words, they'll label the midpoint here instead of the boundary values. What's the first midpoint? 2.5. Sometimes they use midpoints instead of boundary values. And then this is an 8.5. Is that right? 14.5, 20.5, 26.5. So don't be um, surprised if sometime in your life you look at a, a histogram and you go, well, where are the boundary values? They're not there. They use what instead? Midpoints. That happens sometimes. Okay? So you typically use boundary values or midpoints to describe um, bins when you draw a histogram. Another note is that the shape here, the shape of this is, it's, it's known that it's approximately what? Well, some of you guys already know. You say it's approximately normal. What does normal mean? Do you guys know? Yeah, it's, it's like bow shape. This is kind of what it looks like. The center is the highest, OK? And we'll talk more about this when we get to normal distributions. They're very special distributions. But most phenomena that happens naturally has this sort of special distribution. Okay? We'll talk more about it in more detail as we get more information. Things that behave normally, a lot of things. Things that we manufacture are supposed to behave normally. Do you guys know the height of people is supposed to be normal? The weight of people is supposed to be normal. The height of anything is supposed to be normal, and the weight as well. A lot of things behave normally. And this is special. We'll talk more about it. Um, if you don't see this, you may see something that looks like this, bless you, a distribution which is part of the question that was asked this morning. 